think the the reason why the Quaker Peace Centre is is required to do this is that despite the fact that there are many organizations in South Africa that are dealing with issues of violence, peace, justice, reconciliation, there isn't another organization that is informed by the values of Quaker, uh, of the Religious Society of Friends, that, that, um, that deals with this. For instance, I mean, I think the value of uh, the need to speak truth to power, uh, the idea that everybody has the power or the ability to change because there is that of God in everybody. That is unique and it's, it informs our work. So we don't go into an organization or go into a school thinking all the baddies must be punished. We go into an organization thinking we can change this or they can change themselves. And I think that's it's very subtle. It's a very subtle shift, but I think it's very important. I think also the Quaker, the fact that we are, we base everything on Quaker values means that we're prepared to go in and actually confront the violence in the schools and say, what are we going to do about this and how do we make it better? Because schools have to be places of safety and they have to be places of fun. So I think that, yes, we are small, but I think that the, the values that we adopt and that inform our work are Quaker values and I think that they are invaluable when dealing with issues of violence. I think also um, the methods that we use, uh, the circle, very small thing but it's a very important thing. We don't go in there and lecture. We, it's a participatory experiential approach. We use the information and the stories and the experiences that our participants bring into the group. And we start from where they are at. We don't go in and say, this is what we think and this is what we think you should do. We ask and say, what is it that's happening in your school? How do you think we can do this? And I, I think all of that makes the approach more fun. And people at the end of it say they feel a sense of release. It's been therapeutic, it's been exciting, it's been creative. I think that's very important. You talked about the Pupils Advisory Forums for Violence yes. as being the next thing that you would like mm. to do. What sorts of activities do you need to do in order to, for those to happen? Yes. Yeah. And okay, just ask. I think that the pu we we we're we've selected pupils who don't necessarily know that there is an alternative to violence. We are asking them to take that on as a challenge. And so, what we we needing to do, and what we would like to do, is we'd like to do basic AVP with them so that they are at least introduced into or introduced to the idea of non-violence, of alternative ways of dealing with conflict. Um, and so we would like to do that training. We also want to train them in peer mediation because we believe that that is a way of restoring relationships and build and, and repairing relationships um, at school. But for that, I mean, we, we need, we as a staff, uh, need, would like to be trained in peer mediation tra as trainers and then we're going to have to sh impart those skills to the pupils and then in you know as the project rolls out we're also going to have to train their teachers to be able to uh, train new peer mediators at the school so that it can be sustained over a period of years and that after we pull out it, it doesn't just fall flat. Um, and then also we have meetings. Uh, this year we're having four meetings with the PAFOF group where we debate and analyze the causes of violence and what the schools can do to, to deal with that kind of behavior at school. And do you have the resources to do this work? Well, financially, the financial resources, no. We're always looking for more money to, uh, for money to, to, to set it up. We have limited support from the education department in that they will pay their supplies with venues for doing the training, but they don't supply us with, um, for instance, for the peer mediation training, we having to find funds to train ourselves in peer mediation skills. We're having to find the funds to uh, run a residential training of 20 hours with the pupils so that we can immerse them into the idea of peer mediation and train them. And then the ongoing training of supporting the schools who have PAFOFs 
that's going to cost money as well as training their teachers at the schools so that they can sustain the project. All of that is going to cost money which we don't have uh, yet.